Hello everyone and welcome. Are you ready to leap into success? Well, I don't know about you, but I am. I'm so excited that you are with me today. I want to start by first congratulating you for being here and taking the time to be with us today. I am so excited that so many of you actually did join us. And it's amazing to me that we have people from all over the world actually with us today. We have people all the way from Dubai, from China, from Japan, and my clicker is not working. Uh, from Canada, from uh, uh, Malaysia, Mexico, I mean literally from all over the world and of course all over the US. And I want to say a special welcome to all of our members for being with us also today and anybody who is new that has not been to any of our webinars. So if you are new, congratulations again for being here and I promise you, you're going to gain a lot of great information from our time together. So a special welcome to all of you. A little bit about me, my name is Dori Suka. Some of you already know who I am because you've been in our community for a while. I've been at this for 20 years. <laughs> That's a long time, right? So if you don't have a copy of my books yet, you should get online and get them. They are totally free. This is our contribution back to the industry and for helping you grow your business. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be discussing how to leap into success. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about me, uh, you can go online and go to inspirationmanagement.com. I'm not going to waste the time that we have together because we only have about an hour together. So I'm not going to stand here and talk about myself because uh, online access gives you all the information you need about anybody anymore. So please connect with us on social media, go on LinkedIn, connect with me. And again, get copies of my books if you don't have some already, you need them. <laughs> All right, let me start first by identifying who this is for. The audience is very important and we wanna make sure that you are in the right place. So who is this for? It's for any medical professionals or entrepreneurs who are looking to improve their business and who wants to do it the fastest way possible. You're gonna notice me saying that quite a bit today because there is a fast pace to success and then there's the slow process to success. And we're definitely going to talk about today the business model that's going to give you that fast success. And that's exactly what I'm going to be sharing with you today. So my promise to you is to share with you how you can actually address the most common challenges that are faced with most of the owners or medical spa directors or managers that you're faced with on a daily basis. And I wanna show you how you can take those challenges and actually overcome them and literally generate millions of dollars. You have so many great opportunities to actually do this and that's exactly what we're going to be discussing. So let me start by first sharing with you the facts. As I mentioned, I've been doing this for 20 years. So when we first start working with someone, what we find is that most people have just about the same challenges. It really doesn't matter whether you are a medical spa, whether you are a day spa, a wellness center, a medical practice, in business, most business owners have the same challenges. So when we first meet them, we run into, these are the most common challenges that we usually see. And the first one has to do with marketing and also team utilization time. We find most often that people are not operating at their space capacity, nor are their team operating at their most capacity. And that's extremely costly, not a good thing to be in. The second big challenge we come across all the time is that a lot of you are not making the profits that you should be making. And a lot of times when we start looking at the financials, we find out that you're not even getting paid. So you're working for free. Now I know that's not the reason you went into business. You did not go into business to work for free. So again, these are the things we're going to address today. The third challenge we find often is that stress, that frustration, that overwhelming feeling that you get because you're trying to wear so many different hats 
And that does not work, my friends, because once you start wearing all the hats like that, you're, you're not good at anything because you're just being so spread out, so spread thin that you're not going to do anything in a proper way. The other reason is a lot of you actually try to reinvent the wheel. That is probably one of the biggest mistakes I see. And if you want to reach success the fastest way possible, then you definitely don't want to reinvent the wheel. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be sharing with you case studies of members and clients of ours who overcame that by following the business model that I'm going to be sharing with you today. And then lastly, I make fun of this all the time. I call it the wing it business model because most people, when we first start talking with them again, when they first reach out to us, it's like the wild, wild west. Let me tell you. I can share with you some stories. So what we want to do is take it from wild, wild west to law and order, to profitability, to success. So obviously this is not a good place to be. You guys agree? So we have some polls that are being um, uploaded to you. So please be kind and take the poll. And also if you have questions as we go along, you, if you are with us on uh, Zoom, by the way, we're on Zoom, we're on YouTube, we're on all of social media platforms. So no matter where you are joining us from, you can always go ahead and submit a question and we're gonna leave some time at the end to answer them. So how many of you would rather, instead of having all these challenges, how many of you would actually rather have this instead? So I want you to think for a minute. I want you to imagine you having the freedom that you want to be able to do what you want, when you want it, for whatever the price is. Wouldn't that be great? How about this? Having a business that runs on autopilot where you don't have to be there anymore because you have all the systems and structure and strategies and solutions in place already. Would that be a wonderful place to be in? Absolutely. How about this? Being able to deliver such a great guest experience that your clients are going to be retained and coming back to see you over and over and over. Wouldn't that be a great place to be? Absolutely. So how about this? Having a high performing team where you don't have to worry about <laughs> your team not being motivated or being lazy or they don't want to do things or they do just enough. Those are the things that we hear about all the time. But wouldn't it be great to have that high performing team? And the last and most important is having a profitable business. That's why we go into business. You all went into business so you can have freedom, so you can do what you want, so you can make the money that you want, but instead we end up with all these challenges instead. So why does that happen? That happens because most people don't follow a successful model that is proven effective to do what you need to do to succeed. So here's what we're gonna go over today. I'm going to be sharing with you actual case studies of people just like you. These are clients of ours. Some of them have been clients for a long time and some of them are newer, but no matter where you are in your path right now, you might be just thinking about opening up. You might already be open. You might been open for a long time. It does not matter where you are in your business path. The important thing is to realize what you could be doing right now to be as successful as possible. So I'm going to be sharing with you what their businesses were like when they first reached out to us, what transformation they went through, and what were the results. Does that sound good? Yeah? All right, give me thumbs up. I'm sure everybody can hear me, we're doing good. All right. Okay. So the question is, how many of you would like to have that slide I had with imagining that kind of business? You should be raising your hand now if you're with us, right? That's what we all deserve. We all deserve that. And guess what? We all have the opportunity to experience that. 
and that's what you really deserve. So, okay, let's start with uh, the LEAP principle one. I'm going to be sharing with you six principles, and we're going to go through them, and I'm going to give you highlights of each case study of what they were able to do to transform their business and reach the million dollar club, right? Multiple millions. You're going to hear about some of, some of the great successes. So the first principle is very, very important. And it's the mindset and success. Really, it all starts with mindset. <laughs> that's, that's the root. That's the foundation. And if you don't have the right mindset, you really, you're, you're hurting yourself right from the very beginning. And sometimes we think we have the right mindset, but we don't really monitor our self-talk. And sometimes your self-talk is dragging you down. And there are statements, uh, I don't know if you guys, one of my favorite books is Think and Grow Rich. And one of the things that Napoleon Hill talks about is what you think about is what you become. So I really want you to monitor your self-talk and see exactly what you're saying to yourself. I want it to be super positive and I want you to think and feel that you're already at top of your game. You're the most successful person in your area as far as medical spas or wellness centers or whatever type of business you have. So it really starts there. As a matter of fact, I want to share with you one quick little story. You're probably thinking, well, what's Jim Carrey doing up here? Well, Jim Carrey practiced visualization and manifestation. <laughs> Excuse me. So when he first started becoming an actor, he went up to, he was obviously in Hollywood. He went up to where the Hollywood sign is, right? And he sat there and he kept dreaming about being this big, huge movie star. And one day he took a check out and he wrote himself a check for $10 million. And he said to himself, someday somebody is going to offer me a role in a movie and they're going to pay me $10 million. Well, guess what? Jim Carrey got paid $10 million for being on Mask. Remember the green mask, that movie that he did? That's the power of mindset, visualization, and manifestation. And when you are all in with desire and what you want to accomplish, and when you picture yourself as you've already succeeded, you've already done it, guess what? It's going to be a lot easier to reach that success. So I want you, if you have not read Think and Grow Rich, you really should. It is the best book. That book changed my life. I read it first when I was 19 years old and it totally changed my life. I am where I am today because of all the things that Napoleon Hill talks about as far as his principles in that book. So please pay attention to that and get that right mindset. So let me share with you a story about mindset with Dr. Green. He's our first case study. So that's Dr. Green, he's from Richmond, Virginia. He owns Rejuvenate MD and that's his practice manager and superstar Lauren. She's amazing. So let me tell you what happened with Dr. Green. Now, I don't know if any of you already knows him. He's been in our community for a little while. And when we first met, he had actually his own practice, medical practice, and he decided he wanted to open up a medical spa. So he went ahead and opened it. He had first met me at a conference where I was speaking but he did not join our community. He actually was one of these people that delayed his success. So finally, one day he called up our office about a couple years ago. He called up our office and said, I need help. Actually, that's the first step in reaching success is realizing that you don't have to do it alone. So Dr. Green realized that yes, I'm making, I'm generating revenue, but I'm not getting to keep much of the revenue. He wasn't even paying himself. He was one of those challenges that I discussed with you. Needless to say, he was working too much. He was frustrated. All these challenges that I just mentioned to you earlier, he was experiencing them. Why? Because he really had no business model to follow. So that was his situation. So what did he do? 
Well, he finally realized that it's okay to get help and he joined our community. And I wanna share with you a story. Now, last year, we did the Leap Ahead seminar, one of our most popular seminars. We did it virtually. So Dr. Green and his family were on vacation. So his family was over here on the beach, but guess where Dr. Green was? Can you tell these are his feet? And he's sitting with his laptop watching me do a virtual leap ahead. The reason I'm showing you that is because there is a price for success. And I'm not talking about price just in money. I'm talking about price in money, price in self-development, price in time, investing in yourself. There is a price. And you, as an entrepreneur, you need to be willing to pay the price. Now, Dr. Green could have said, forget Dory, forget the leap ahead, forget all that stuff. I would rather be on the beach. But he did not. And because of that, he did $5 million in business last year. Five, five million dollars. How many of you would like to make $5 million in one year? That's amazing, isn't it? Yes, considering what is an average medical spa, according to recent studies, averages 1.3 million. We don't wanna be average. We want to be the best of the best. And that's why I love to work with people like Dr. Green, like his manager and all the other people I'm going to be sharing with you. So the transformation that they went through was really a three-step process. They had to learn, they had to practice what they learn, and they had to apply and implement what they learn. Now, everything that they applied, they actually implemented was all information that we teach part of the business model that we teach and they basically followed it to a t so he went from not paying himself barely breaking even to generating five million dollars is that a good success story and it's true it's a fact so how did they do it well, they followed the business model that we teach. And that's one of the biggest problems I see most people do is that they don't have a business model that they follow. So the steps that he took was obviously taking the Leap Ahead seminar first. Then he started participating in coaching sessions because they're actually members. So they get coaching with their membership. They have the access to the Med Spa Biz University where all the education actually is. And then they started implementing. There is no magic wand, you guys. You got to do the work. But if you don't have the blueprint to follow to do the work, then you're doing the wing it model. Winging it again does not work. But here's the path to success. Most important thing is that you have a team. You have team buy-in, right? Your entire team is all gung-ho about succeeding. And then you're able to expand. That's exactly what Dr. Green is doing right now. They are booked three, four months in advance. They're running out of space. So they're actually moving to a bigger location. Is that a good place to be? to go from barely breaking even to $5 million in one year, that's success. That's application, that's implementation. And that's exactly what is possible for you because if they can do it, so can you. How many people with us today would love to be where he is right now? Tell me, share with me. Give me some love, give me thumbs up. Wouldn't that be amazing? Absolutely, that's what we want. So needless to say, if you want to succeed, you have to pay the price. So that's the first lesson really from today and, and the first principle is you have to have the right mindset and you have to be willing to pay the price and you have to be willing to follow if an effective blueprint that will help you reach your goals. Now, I want you to learn a little bit more about Dr. Green. So he, he was actually on one of our uh, TV shows, YouTube shows that we do called Meet the Experts. 
and I interviewed him actually, and we're helping him improve his positioning right now because he's uh, getting ready to publish his book. He came to the book writing seminar, and now uh, we did this Meet the Expert video where he, he can actually use it to market himself because it's consumer driven. So if you're not on our YouTube channel yet, you really should go and subscribe because we're always putting out great content like this. So that's my first case study. Let's talk about the second one, leap principle number two, and that's the financials. That's probably where most people fall short. I find clients more excited about picking out a skincare line or buying a $200,000 laser <laughs> than to sit down and crunch numbers and figure out how they're going to pay for that laser. <laughs> so you don't want to be there. So I want to introduce you to Linda and Brianna. They run a stick in Pennsylvania. They actually have two locations and they have a very interesting story as well. They've been members since 2017. And when I first met them, their challenges were huge. As a matter of fact, Dr. Lazaro, who is a plastic surgeon, a leading plastic surgeon in Pennsylvania in Pittsburgh, uh, was supporting the medical spa. So they have two buildings and the uh, plastic surgery, of course, is super successful. And then for a long time, the plastic surgery center was actually supporting the medical spa. And that's not a fun place to be, not at all. And then they had a team who was so set in their ways. As a matter of fact, they were the kindest people they were offering so much to their employees that their employees had been with them for 10, 12, 14, 18 years working with them. So needless to say, they were so stuck in their own ways. So Linda and Brianna both were very frustrated because they knew they had greater potential, but they just did not know how to get off that little hamster wheel, if you will. So what they did instead they were able to take their business again from one million to four million dollars that's how much they generated this past year over four million dollars in revenue isn't that a good place to be when you're talking about an average place making 1.3 and then we have clients who are doing five and four million dollars in business again if they can do it so can you, so can you. So let me talk to you about a couple of things because I want you to leave with some very important information here. And the one thing that most people do wrong is the compensation. They don't have the right price and then they don't have a reoccurring revenue model. So you keep working on marketing and marketing and marketing. And then because the team doesn't know how to sell, again, you're back on that hamster wheel. So let's talk a couple about a little bit about both of these things. So the first thing is the compensation model. So Linda's situation and Brianna, they were paying their team so much, yet the revenue generation was so low that all their numbers were lopsided. Their compensation cost was so high and their profits were non-existing. So not only did they have the wrong compensation model, but they also had the wrong pricing. When I went on site to do their fresh start, we were talking about pricing and opportunities to upgrade and be able to increase the volume per guest, which what we talk about all the time. Their team, their pricing was set up in a way where it was so low and there was no opportunities for upgrading. So that was it because they gave them everything within that one treatment, for example. So you want to make sure that your prices are correct and you have enough a higher price that even if you offer discounting or if you want to do promotions or if you want to pay people extra bonuses, that you have enough of a buffer to actually be profitable. And when you do that, my friends, you're going to have a much healthier business. But what happens in most cases is everybody's playing the price war games. Let's see who's going to be the cheapest. And it's crazy. It's like there's always going to be somebody that's going to charge less if that's the game you want to be in. So instead, 
you want to be the highest priced place instead of being the cheapest. And you know what? When you raise your prices, you're going to attract a whole different clientele. Totally different than the ones that shop for bargains. And when you raise your price and you set up your compensation model in a smart way, which a high performance, a performance based compensation model, then you're able to really be more profitable. And lastly, ugh, I can't tell you enough of that. They are my superstars when it came to memberships. They have, I think the last time I checked, they had over 500 members, right? Paying them between over $500 a month to $250 a month. Do the math. How would you like it if at the first of each month, you had six figures coming into your bank account already, and the rest of the month, whatever you do is the beyond break-even point or the beyond the further success that you can reach. Would that be a good place to be? Absolutely. And that's what you can do. And that's how come they were able to go from 1 million to 4 million because they were, again, applying a business model that works. As a matter of fact, I did an interview with them because I really want you to know that these are real people just like you, just like you. And again, if they can do it, so can you. So they came to our mastermind meeting last year and I did an interview with them so they can share their success with all the other members. So it is available on YouTube and it's also available on the Leap Ahead page if you'd like to go and watch that interview. Uh, I, I actually interviewed both uh, Linda and Brianna and talked about their success and how they actually did it. They tell the whole story. So I encourage you to go and watch it. It's very inspirational and it's very motivational. And that's really what I want to do here is I'm trying to show you the opportunities that you have. I don't want you to be thinking, oh, but that's them. Oh, they're in Pennsylvania. I'm in Idaho. Or, oh, they have this kind of location and I don't have that. It does not matter. It does not matter. As long as you set your mind as to what you want to accomplish and you have that blueprint to follow it, Anything is possible, but you got to learn, apply, and practice, right? All right. So let's talk about principle number three, which is your business model. Now, you've heard me mention this uh, quite a bit, but it, it, that's, it, it all comes down to that, you guys. It, look, look at what's going on in the United States and all around the world. You have more chains today than anything else. You have the Walmarts, the Targets, the Bloomingdale's, the Neiman Marcuses, all these chains of restaurants. Why do you think there are so many chains now? Because they open a business, they perfect the business model, and then they start duplicating. And that's how companies grow. But if you don't have a business model, then back to that wing in it, and that does not allow you to multiply and scale and expand. That's what I want you to at least take away here, you guys, is know that you need a business model to follow. You can't be winging it anymore because winging it, you're going to be making about a million. You're going to net about 10% if you're lucky. So that's only making a hundred thousand dollars. Did you go in business to make $100,000? I don't know about you, but I did not go into a business to make $100,000. That's not enough. You need to be able to generate more. Now, if you're generating four and five million and you're netting at least 20%, now you're making money. Now you're successful. And that's what I want for you. And that's what these guys did. Oh, amazing. So Dr. Omani and his wife, uh, Melissa, they, um, they are in Canada, actually. So we have clients really all over the world. Again, they had no business model. Uh, they knew they could do better. They had no reoccurring revenue model. Again, almost everybody we start working with, 
they don't have that reoccurring revenue model and the most don't have a good consultation process in place. So I'm going to be sharing with you some great things about uh, consultations here. But look at what they did. They have over, um, they're almost at 600 members. 600 members. How would you like to have 600 members paying you again between $500 to $250 a month? What's stopping you from doing that? Because you don't know how to do it. You need someone to show you the way. And that's exactly what they were able to accomplish because they had someone showing them the way. So this is their team. The other thing I want to mention to you is that if you want to reach that level of success, you have to have a team. You cannot be a one-man show. You cannot be a two-man show or a three-man show. When you're talking about getting into the multiple millions, you got to have a team and you have, to have, you have to have a great team. So once they started implementing, they're so happy. Like they talk to some of my team members or they get on the phone with one of our coaches. They're so happy because of where they were and where they are now. They're, they're going to go over 3.3 million for the year again. That's amazing. That's amazing. And again, if they can do it, so can you. Nothing can stop you except yourself. Nothing. Let's talk about the consultation process because that's another huge mistake we find over and over and over because everybody's under this whole a la carte consultation. So I want to introduce you to Karen Albright. And that's her team. She was actually one of our coaches for a little bit. So she was a client for a long time. She implemented all of our systems. And then she actually was one of our coaches for a little bit. And now she had to quit being one of our coaches because she's opening up her third location. And she implemented the one thing I'm always telling everybody to implement and some of you listen and some of you still don't. I don't know why you need to listen. <laughs> and that's the consultation. So let me explain to you the difference between the head to toe, the get to know you consultation that we teach. And then you, what you're doing right now in most cases, which is the a la carte consultation. So somebody calls up, they want Botox. They come in, they go in to see your injector, your injector does the consultation on Botox, they do their Botox and they leave. Well, you just left a lot of money on the table. That is why, my friends, most medical spas make 1.3 million instead of four, five, and more millions. This, this is the reason. This is the reason, and that's how I can help you with my team reach the multiple million dollar level because we will totally convert your mindset about how you're doing your consultations to teach you how to implement the sacred system and how to do a get to know you consultation where it can lead to thousands and thousands of dollars for every single person that sits down with you. But right now, you leave so much money on the table, it breaks my heart. And you're not helping your clients because you're giving them only the bare minimum instead of truly taking care of themselves. Hmm, what am I gonna do? <laughs> so let me show you what Karen, I had to convince Karen. So here's the story we had and feel free to call her. She'll tell you it's the truth. So I said, if you're going to coach with us, you got to follow our model. And the one thing she had not implemented yet was the consultation process. So what we did is I convinced her to hire a person, right, to do consultations only. And I had her start thinking revenue per consultation. How much should we really be generating when we do the get to know you? We're talking head to toe consultation, right? So now her place, she has two locations. She's opening up a third one. So she's averaging $125,000 a month from new consultations. How many of you generate that kind of revenue from your consultations? 
I'll guarantee you it's not that. Unless we're doing plastic surgery consultations. I'm talking medical aesthetics consultations, not plastic surgery consultations. So would you like to be there? All you have to do is implement the success with guest consultation. That's all you have to do. We have, I mentioned Idaho a little bit earlier. Uh, what, was, what was her name? Julie. Julie, Julie Akeregi. So Julie had um, implemented, the first thing she implemented was the success with guest consultation. And she was able to increase her, her business by $1.1 million just by implementing the success with guest consultation. Crazy, huh? <laughs> it is. It's amazing. So again, if they can do it, so can you. So can you. So change that whole mentality with your guest consultation because you could definitely make a big difference in your revenue generation for especially new consultation, new clients. All right, let's move on to number five. Number five is all about structure and team training. See, a lot of time you hire someone, you let them hang out with the person that's leaving or who you're going to let go, and that's your training. Where do you think that's gonna lead you? To average again. You can't do that. You can't do that if you wanna reach the multiple million dollar level, you can't. So I wanna introduce you to Denise Dubois, look at her, she's absolutely gorgeous. She's been in business for 30 years. She celebrated her 30th anniversary last year. She has two locations in New York, one in Albany and one in Saratoga. And um, I'm sorry, she's in business for 31 years. Yeah, that was last year was 30, now we're in the new year. <laughs> she's been a member since 2015. I remember when I met Denise. She comes up, I was at some conference, and she came up to me after my lecture and started talking to me. She was just getting ready to open up another location, and um, it was amazing. She has, she has quite a business, let me tell you. She has about 100 employees. <laughs> Imagine having 100 employees. <laughs> Good luck. She had, like, no systems, no business model, though she was you know, in business for all these years, but the thing that bothered her is she knew she could be doing, again, a lot better. She could be generating a lot more revenue, and she felt stuck. And because she was opening a new location, she knew she had to systemize her process, and she had to improve her structure because she belonged to the Got A Minute Club. Do you know what a Got A Minute Club is? Could you imagine having about 100 employees come up to your office every few minutes and say, Denise, got a minute? <laughs> so needless to say, she didn't get much done at all. So we had to change that. And we were able to restructure her entire uh, team to have department leads, to have team leaders, to have training for them, to practicing, to role playing, to doing all the things. So during the holiday season, she's sending me this. This is a text from her. Some of my favorite clients can text me. <laughs> Not everybody. <laughs> okay, so Denise sent me this text message and look what she wrote. This is her doggy, and here's Dory again, right? So me and my pup watching training videos. And this is somebody who's already super successful. And she's watching training videos. That's the price I'm talking about. When you pay the price, anything is possible. So Denise was able to publish a book. She came to the book writing seminar. Her book is amazing, by the way. You, you need to check it out. She, the, her place is Complexions, right, uh, in New York. And she was able, again, the one thing that you're going to find that all of them have in common, all these great success case studies I'm sharing with you, they've all been to the Leap Ahead seminar. I've been on their location to do training with their teams. Uh, we changed their compensation models. She published her book. She created a private label to increase 
her retail uh, profits and she opened up that other location I was just mentioning. So again, if she can do that and she did, look at this, she did over $5 million again in revenue. Now you might be thinking, yeah, but there's no way I am over here. How am I going to get over there? It's a path. You have to take a path. And when you follow the blueprint, you're able to follow and make that success that you want to reach. So it makes such a big difference, you guys. It really does. All right, because I want to leave some time for some questions. I'm going to reach the leap uh, principle number six, and that is to make smart choices. And, you know, we're all faced with choices. And sometimes we make the right choice, and sometimes we don't, right? But that's part of learning. But the one message I want you to take from this is that it's okay to ask for help. You don't have to know everything. I don't know everything. My team doesn't know everything. Your team doesn't know everything. We all need to continue learning. And it's okay to ask for help. So here's how I describe most entrepreneurs. Now, there's two types of entrepreneurs. There's the ones that reach out to us and say, oh, you know what, I can just do it on my own. Okay, good luck. This is what happens when people do something on their own. They're just going around and around and around and around. They might reach success, but they're taking the slow route and the costly mistakes route. Where there's another kind of entrepreneur, like the Dr. Green, like the Denise, like the Karen, like everybody else that we work with who are super successful. They find a model that works, they implement it, and they succeed. So the choice is yours. You can either take the long way home or you can get the shortest, fastest way to success. What do you think you should do? It's an option. It's your option. And you know what's amazing to me is that the people, well, how can I say this? The people that are already successful are the people that keep investing in their education. Like Dr. Vujic, she is amazing like totally amazing lady. She has her place as Renew Med Spa in uh, New, New, New Hampshire, Derry, New Hampshire. She had such a successful practice. She decided to open up a medical spa. She left her practice and her medical spa now does $5 million a year. And she opened up a training center because she loves to train and help the industry so she has a training center in her place, and she actually teaches others how to do threads and Botox and fillers where you can actually go on her location and do a one-on-one -on -one training with her. Now, someone like that, you guys, you're probably asking yourself, why would they be a member? Why would they invest more money in actually their education? because it's necessary, because you have to keep investing in yourself, because if you don't, you're gonna flatline, and when you flatline, eventually you'll go down. Instead, these kind of folks, the people I love working with like this, is because they're always climbing, they're always gaining momentum, they're always increasing their business, and the reason they do that, again, is because they keep learning and they keep inventing, uh, and keep implementing new things so they can keep doing better and better and better. Those were some amazing case studies, weren't they? I am so proud to be associated with these great entrepreneurs, and I want to congratulate every one of them for the great results that they achieved and the growth that they experienced and having such a great team to help them achieve those great results. So congratulations. But here's the thing, you can do the same. I want you to be the next big success story. What do you think was the trend between all of them? I introduced you to quite a few people. Look at how many millions are actually just on this screen. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So would you invest to gain a blueprint to actually reach the level of success that they have reached. Would you? 
you'd be crazy if you said no. <laughs> it's definitely a yes because you need that. As a matter of fact, right before the holiday, I always, I'm always investing in my education. And I usually set aside about $50,000 a year to invest. And just right before, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, I just joined another new program. So I can keep learning and I can keep improving. So I can keep sharing with you. So the one common they all had together is they started their path to success by attending the Leap Ahead seminar. Now, I know we've had some, uh, Tara's been waving at me. We've had a lot of questions about uh, people asking and wanting to know a little bit more. So I'm doing a little special for you right now because we're back to doing live events, thank God. And uh, we can't wait actually to get back into doing live events. So if you think about the path that they all took and they all started with the Leap Ahead seminar because that gives you the entire blueprint on what you really need to do. Once you get the big picture, then you can start dissecting and going down and start implementing all the other systems that we basically teach. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the Leap Ahead Seminar, you can go to inspirationmanagement.com slash leap and be able to find out more information about it. But because we are having this seminar next month and it is going to be in Daytona Beach, I'd like to offer you something special that you can take advantage of and gain some added value from it. And one of the things is we're offering a buy one, get one free ticket, which is amazing. So you can bring two people. We always like you to bring two because we love it. When you go back home, you have another person that can help you implement. You're going to get the budget program. You're going to get the marketing plan, which is great. And then we're going to give you one coaching session with it. Now to receive all this, this is an added value of $7,600, you guys. So when you go into the shop, you need to use, to get all these, you need to use the code LEAP, L-E-A-P, in the cart so you can get, uh, take advantage of all these uh, great bonuses that we're offering you. So I would love for you to come and join us, bring a person with you and get armed with that business model that I'm going to be sharing that everybody else implemented that I just showed you. And the reason I wanted to do this webinar like this is to show you what is possible. I didn't want to just stand here and give you all kinds of information. I wanted to really show you the opportunities that you have if you have a blueprint to follow. I really want you to get it in your head. Listen, we, we had such a great year at Inspiration Management. We grew our business, uh, I think the last numbers I looked at was 49% for the year. So if you want to come, great. I'm doing this to help you because, again, if other people can take this information and apply it and win with it, then you could do the same thing. Why delay it? Literally, we've had thousands of people attend this seminar and we have totally changed people's lives. People ask me all the time, what do you do? Like when you first meet someone, they're asking you, well, what do you do for a living? Is that I help you become more successful. And I love it when I get emails, when I get phone calls from people like you telling us what they were able to achieve. Good stuff, right? Yeah, I hope I motivated you. So now there's two things you can do. You can buy the seminar a la carte, kind of like what you do with most of your clients, <laughs> which we don't like, by the way. Or you can become a member and attend the Leap Ahead for free. So that's your option. Now, if you don't know which way to go, you can always reach out to our office and they can help you figure it out. Or you can just go to the website and see the differences between the two and then you decide. Now, I know we have a lot of questions over here, so I'm going to take some time. We have about seven minutes, so I'm going to take some time to take some questions and uh, help you guys out. And I'm going to put up the bonus thing back. And then to get to that page, actually, where they are, okay, 
So to get to that page, again, it's inspirationmanagement.com slash leap. And that takes you to the leap page so you can see all the different things that we go over during the three-day seminar and uh, where we're actually hosting it, which is right on the beach in Daytona. So, all right, so let's take some questions. Hope you liked all this information and now you're motivated and excited and enthusiastic about the possibilities, are you? Yes. <laughs> so a couple of things, when you ask them what they all had in common, the success stories, they were all commenting, they all had Dory in common. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, yes. <laughs> so. Um, I have to say, people are sending me messages, Dory, saying, I'm on my way, I'm headed to Florida, so I'm so excited to see them. But just a reminder, we have limited seats this time because it is a new seminar coming up, so they need to register as soon as possible. Um, but we do have some uh, questions that came in. So Zara was asking you when you were talking about profit margins, mm -hmm. what should be a good profit margin that someone should have if they're making a five million practice? Yeah, so really the profit margin can vary quite a bit mm -hmm. depending on where, um, what type of business you really have and if the medical practice is paying some of the expenses or is it a standalone uh, facility. So there's a lot of different things that go into effect. But as a rule of thumb, as far as profitability, you want to be at least between 10 and 20% in profit if it's a standalone business by itself. So, but if you want to talk a little bit more about financials and where really your numbers should be, you can always call in and set up a coaching session and we can. But I go over all that, by the way, during the Leap Ahead seminar. And then another question I had is, how much should we pay ourselves as owners? When you were talking about Dr. <laughs> That's Green, a good this question <laughs> popped in. <laughs> Yes, as much as possible. No, actually, that's a good question for your accountant because it really depends on exactly, again, the type of business that you have, uh, whether you're an LLC, an S-Corp. So there's a lot of variations. But no matter what, you should at least pay yourself for the time. So let's say you're, you're a provider and an owner. So, for example, if you're doing injectables or if you're doing uh, sexual health or this or that, how much would it be to pay somebody else to do that job? You should pay yourself at least that much if you're a provider. Now, if you're a manager or a leader in your business, then you're paying yourself as a CEO. But again, the taxes, your, your tax write-offs and the way your taxes are done with your accountant should really be discussed with him or her to make sure that you're setting yourself up. But no matter what, you definitely need to pay yourself or at least run all your business, all your expenses through a, like a draw account or something in your business and then be able to benefit from that. So yeah, pay yourself. <laughs> Dory, Janet had commented and said she was winging it before they met you. Um, and now that they've met you, they're so inspired and they wanna thank you so much. Aww. And being that they're just planning and opening up, how long should it take someone to get into the millions? So it depends, again, on the space that you have, the amount of marketing that you do initially, your positioning, uh, your uh, team, your retention rate. So it could be as fast as possible. I mean, we have people just right out of the gate, the first month, they're doing fifty, seventy-five thousand dollars $75,000 just like that. So think about it. That quickly adds up to 100,000. Now you're into the 1.3 million, let's say 1.2 million, that's your average. So once you get to average, if you keep applying all the things that we teach, that's gonna get you into 2 million and then into 3 million. So really, if you look at, I was just looking at Dr. Green's numbers and when he first joined us, he wasn't even breaking 2 million. And now two years later, he's at 5 million. So it's the effort that you put in, it's the dedication that you and your team have, and the ability to really implement. And when you do all the things, you follow the steps, there's nothing that, can't stop, that can stop you from really reaching it the fastest way possible. And that's really one of the things that I, I really tell people all the time is if you wanna reach success the fastest way possible, you gotta follow that blueprint. So thanks for your question. A two-part question from June Alsgard, who's with us. 
She, uh, first question is, what is the recommendation to bonus an employee for patients that she sees and she would need help on that? And I'm thinking that's more of a coaching call. Mm -hmm. And then how many team members would you recommend someone to actually hire to start out in their opening process? Oh my gosh, again, that really all depends. The last thing you want is to hire a bunch of people and if you don't have the proper marketing to drive traffic in there, the last thing you want is to be paying all these hourly rates and people are sitting around twirling their thumbs. So there is a process in which you should follow when you first open. You wanna take your capacity, like how many rooms do you have? And what we do is we start like, let's say at 20% capacity and how many team members do you need for that? Then we go up to 25% capacity, then 30 and then 35. And as you grow, then you bring on more and more people. But the last thing you want is hire a bunch of people and just let them sit around. So there's definitely a science and there's a process for that. As far as bonuses, oh my God, that's such a loaded question. I can't really just answer it. So, but I can tell you this, your entire compensation cannot surpass about 30% of your overall revenue. That's paying everybody, right? So for every dollar that comes into your business, you cannot pay out more than 30 cents on just compensation. So you need to keep that in mind when you're setting up your entire compensation model. So now we teach the compensation is so important. And we teach a, a model called the volume per guest model because what we want to do is reward the team to be able to increase the revenue per guest. And the more they increase the revenue per guest, the more you can actually pay them. And if you set up your compensation on a performance-based compensation model, now you're going to be able to pay more because they're giving you more. And that works amazingly. Every example I shared with you today, every case study, they're all using the volume per guest compensation model that we teach. And every since they implemented that, that's when their profits actually skyrocketed. Makes a big, big difference. So, yeah. Do we have other questions? We're having a little communication going on here. <laughs> we have questions coming in from social media, from Zoom. So I'm trying to keep them in order. The next question is you just talked about how to bring the team members in, but how would you change the compensation for someone that's already open? We have over 70% of people who are already opening. So they're saying, how do they change their compensation? Yes. Okay, so that's another great question, by the way. And there is a process for that as well. And we call it the fresh start. So what we do is we go through the entire process of where they are now, how much you're paying them now, setting up new targets, setting up the new compensation, and show them truly how with this new model, they'll have the opportunity to actually earn more if they're truly good. So, you know, it's what you want is to have an entire team of dedicated and driven people. And when you have dedicated and driven team members and they see the compensation model that we're talking about, automatically they're excited about the change because now they have the opportunity to actually earn more. So you're not capping their income potential. The model we're talking about allow them to make more the better they are. So in the interview process, if somebody comes to you and says, uh, oh, I'm the best, I'm so great. So if somebody says that to me, I'll say, you know what? You're gonna love the compensation model that we offer because with a performance-based compensation model, if you are the best of the best, you're gonna be able to have unlimited, truly unlimited income potential. And that's what we're talking about here is having them be excited and see the opportunities to actually earn more. But it's a very delicate matter. So you have to be very careful on how you actually plan it first and then how you actually introduce it to the team. So I would not recommend doing that on your own. It's like having surgery. You want to make sure you have the right <laughs> operation room, the right team helping you, the right models, everything that needs to really uh, work well. So keep that in mind. 
So, Dory, we have a question here from social media, and they asked, how much commission percentage would you pay a consultant person like Karen brought on? They're paying someone's salary right now, but every time she closes something like a liposuction, they're giving her 4%. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So we have, again, a whole process for paying the consultation person. And the consultation person should definitely be based on performance. So I would give them a very low uh, hourly rate, as low as possible, and then be able to bonus them based on their productivity. So what we would do is first we would set targets of how much we want them. It's called reverse engineering, right, your compensation. So what we do is we first decide on how much revenue we want to generate per month and how much is this position really valued at. What is that price? How much are you willing to pay that person on the low, medium, and then the high end? So the percentage is a percentage. You really need to work your numbers backwards to see how much this person is really earning. So if you're paying her 4%, is she getting also an hourly? And how much is her annual income, basically? So if that rate is driving you to how much you want her to make per year, then that's great, you keep it. If it's too high, then you need to reduce it. If it's too low, you might wanna give her additional KPIs that you want to actually pay her on. So again, really, questions like that, uh, there is definitely more uh, digging down into the numbers and truly come up with a good model that makes sense. So Caroline Freeman is here with this story oh. and she just wanted to comment and she said, I worked so hard last year with consultations and my team and we made 142,000. That's 46% more in services only. Nice. And that's not even including the retail. And they're members. Yes. To comment that they're yes, members. Yes, they are members. Yeah. Actually, you know, I wanted to touch something about the day spa and I didn't because, you know, I'm, I'm sharing all these numbers and people are thinking, because I know we have some folks that own day spas with us today. And uh, don't let these numbers, um, you know, scare you away thinking, oh, there's no way I could make that much from a day spa. Let me tell you the biggest trend that's happening right now. And we have so many clients that are making the shift into a medical spa right now. So you have your day spa, and then we're helping now people convert into a medical spa and still have both. Like Denise has both actually. Denise has a day spa, a hair salon, and a medical spa all under one roof and 10,000 square feet. So if you have a day spa right now, I don't wanna lose you. I want you to be with me. And I wanna show you the way on how you can start introducing medical treatments so you can really increase your revenue and become generating, be, start generating millions and millions of dollars. So I'm, I'm getting a lot of questions, so I think we have time for about four more, Dory. Uh, we're going over a little here, but they're just so excited. Yes. Um, those that were entering into the shopping cart, just a reminder, the code is LEAP and I have gone in and it is working. So I'm getting people registered right now. So if you were yes. trying it, just do it again. I got a comment, people were trying it and I think that just so many were logging in at the same time. Yeah. So just try it one more time for me. Um, we do have questions. Some of them are asking us part two, two part question. Are we gonna give this to them live via Zoom? or do they need to attend in person? Mm. And then they're asking, what is the difference between coming to the Leap Ahead and then becoming a member? Okay. So can you give us some clarity well, on that? So the, yes, thank you. So the first thing is there's nothing like a live event. I mean, I know we went through the whole pandemic and everybody was into Zoom and this and that. I have to tell you the opportunity to rub elbows with like-minded people and we're going to have a lot of members there and you want to hang out with our members if you're not a member and coming to leap ahead you should want to come to leap ahead just so you can be around our members <laughs> because they are amazing entrepreneurs so i would definitely make it in person i will do everything i can to really make it in person now if you don't make it in person uh, we do have a virtual leap ahead that we taped last year that you can actually go and purchase and start watching it now if you want so you really have the option of both now to compare the leap ahead to what our membership is so the leap ahead is your three-day seminar where you come in and you get the big picture 
where a lot of people attend the leap ahead and then they become a member right away. And a lot of them join actually at the leap ahead. Now, if you are a member, you come to the leap ahead totally free. As a matter of fact, you come to all of our events for free because it's part of your membership. So the membership is a monthly commitment that you make where you gain access to MedSpa Biz University, where all of our tools actually live, all the systems, all the manuals, all the transcripts, all the audios, videos, you name it. <laughs> Everything that you need is on that platform. So if you want to apply to become a member, you can go to inspirationmanagement.com and you can click on the flying high. And we have two different types of memberships, the flying high and then the high achievers. And it's a monthly commitment. And again, you gain access to everything that we have and all the events. So really, it's your option which way you want to go. So Bronwyn, who's from Ireland, is a member they're coming they're coming in but can you just remind everybody what the dates are again i'm getting a lot of comments and asking so it's going to be in february it's going to be in february on um, 26th 27th and 28th yep you yep. can come february it's beautiful time of the year to be in florida so come and join us <laughs> yes um i think the last question we've covered so many and comments and i have to tell you i'm getting hearts from everybody on social media oh, thank you they're sending thumbs up everybody on zoom is just telling you how much they love you the members oh, are how much you. they love being a member with thank you, you. Um, the other questions we have covered them but can you just mention again some of the people were asking what was the book that inspired you when you were you know 19 years old oh can you share again what that book yes was? so that was think and grow rich by napoleon hill as a matter of fact we did an entire book gathering if you go to youtube um, we did an entire chapter by chapter video last year and it's actually very good we took those principles and we applied them towards the medical spa and spa industry and it'll be a great thing for you to actually listen to let me tell you um, you know that's something I do every morning is I listen to something every single morning and I'm not talking about the news <laughs> I'm talking about something that's gonna help enrich my life and if you are a member or you have access to some of our tools you can take your phone, access MedSpa Biz University, and keep listening until really you digest all this information. And when you do that, when you apply and pay that price I was talking about earlier into self-development and into education, there's nothing that's going to stop you. You're just going to soar as high as you can soar. So uh, I want to leave you with this, though. If you don't know where to start or if you've been in our community for a little while, but you haven't really done any educational programs with us and you're not sure exactly where to start. So you can go to inspirationmanagement.com and you can actually reserve a success planning session and then you're able to actually reserve a time with one of my team members and they can have help you they can just like you do the consultation right we do the get to know you consultation but it's called success planning session so you reserve the time and then one of my team members can tell you what is the ideal program for you so if you do that it would really help you out for sure so connect with us on social media go subscribe to the youtube channel and uh, follow us because our whole purpose is to really help you with your business, help you grow your business, arm you with what you need so you can really be super successful. Yeah. I have to comment Jeffrey said about that book when you did the book seminar this year. He actually gave it to all of his team members as their Christmas gift. Nice. And he said it just meant so much to them. Very nice, yeah. So thank you so much, you guys, uh, for joining us. I wish you great success. If you have any questions, you can always email us to either Dory or Tara or info at inspirationmanagement.com. We would love to see you at the next Leap Ahead. I wish you great success. Anything else? We're getting a lot more hearts here. Lo love is back to you guys. So let us help you be our next big success story, shall we? Yes, let's do it. So God bless. Until next time, stay inspired. Bye now.